Greetings, app enthusiasts. Justin Z here with a review of the Quick Office app for the iPad. You can see more about this app at mahalo.com slash quickofficerv, and you can send any requests to requests at mahalo.com. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below. Quick Office is the iPad's answer to creating Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files. While not developed by Microsoft itself, the documents are completely compatible with Office for both the Mac and PC. Quick Office's setup is pretty simple. The left column is your memory setup. Initially, you will have access to only your iPad, but you have the ability to access other servers that you can set up from a series of choices, which include Google Docs. The middle column holds your documents and folders. You will initially be greeted with a Word document that acts as a manual for the program, along with an example spreadsheet and a PDF document. I'll review the interface for each document. The Word document is pretty straightforward. You press on the screen and start typing. If you wish to make changes, most of them can be made via the A button with the cog on the right-hand corner of the screen. You can change font size, color, highlight, make tabs, add bullet points, and change paragraph placement. You also have direct access to change the font to bold, italics, or underline. Highlighting, cut, copy, and paste works with the iPad's functionality. You can zoom into the document and move it around with your fingers. The Excel document, entitled Quick Sheet, looks pretty much exactly like the Excel spreadsheet. You can add and manipulate columns and cells, and create functions and formulas. There isn't any manual on the app for how to use functions or create formulas, but each function does have a brief description. Long story short, you are ahead of the game if you already know how Excel formulas work. The PowerPoint document, entitled Quick Point, is a limited version of the PowerPoint program. You can add text, images, and graphics, but some features are definitely missing. You can't add backgrounds, videos, or animate the pages. You do have the ability to color in the graphics and manipulate the photos and text, but otherwise it feels like PowerPoint on the fly. A lot of the features available on this app are hidden from view, such as the ability to transfer files from your iPad to your computer. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, it just means you have to read the manual or check out Mahalo's walkthroughs of the app. Making these documents on the iPad feels awkward and limited. For people who have spent years using these programs with a keyboard and mouse, the app will take some getting used to. There are also features missing from all the document types. Where it would be most useful is where you can import documents from your computer to the iPad and make changes on the fly. If you like, you can always buy a keyboard accessory for your iPad, but it's still not the same. At $14.99, the app might be worth the price if you are always on the go and need to be making changes to your spreadsheets or presentations. Otherwise, stick to what works on your computer. I give the Quick Office app for the iPad a 3.5 out of 5.